What if you were paid an income each month without having to lift a finger? That's a proposal for a universal basic income trial that could take place in some parts of England to find out what impact the money has on people's lives. And we're joined now by Will Strong, who's director of research at Autonomy, the think tank behind the scheme, and former, and former apprentice winner Michelle Jubry. So, um... Good morning to you both. Um, Will Strong, what on earth are you talking about? £1,600 a month and you don't have to work? Why? Yeah, so this is a really exciting pilot happening in two parts of the country. Um, we had a two-year consultation with communities there. And it's a really exciting idea that's happening all over the world. So 100 pilots in America happening right now, a pilot in Wales, then a pilot in Finland. But uh, why? Why? Because this is basically, there's a number of reasons. I think there's two kind of ways of looking at this. On the one hand, solving some of the problems in our current system, so the welfare system doesn't work, it's widely condemned as basically immoral and ineffective at getting people into work. And secondly, preparing us for the future. We've gone through the COVID pandemic, mm -hmm. we've gone through the cost of living crisis. There's so many different kind of tumultuous moments ahead of us, climate change, AI disruption, tech disruption of all kinds. We need a solid income floor. And in we the can't... pilots you're going to give, in the pilot areas, a, a working person... Um, £1,600 a month, mm -hmm. for which they have to do nothing. So that's £20,000, £19,000, £200 a year. And the idea is what? If you just give them the money, does that make them work more or less? Well, this is what we're going to find out. This is why we're running pilots. This is why pilots are the thing right now of basic income, to understand what are the different outcomes, you know, different demographics, different income levels. You know, do people continue working? Do they like their job? Do they feel like they need to have purpose to their work? Okay. Or do they try something else? Michelle Dubrew, what do you think? Are people likely to work if they're given a universal basic income for doing nothing? No, it's all right. First things first, uh, I'm all for uh, creative thinking and looking at how we can perhaps do things differently so no problems with any of that but uh, I read all 63 pages of your report uh, and I struggled to find the a single uh, coherent way of explaining how on earth you would fund this situation you're currently seeking uh, 30 people 1600 pounds a month you're currently uh, trying to find somebody else's money to fund that pilot with so just to be absolutely clear because who wouldn't love the idea hey you go my friend 1600 pound yeah brilliant high five but but let's just be uh, clear with some numbers. The total tax income in this country is a thousand billion pounds, so about a trillion pounds, right? If you wanted to give adults over the age of 18 your 1,600 pounds a month, these are rough, rough figures, by the way, that would pretty much eat up your entire tax take in this country. Yes, Michelle, this is, this is, this is, this is our very rough figures. That's not the correct calculation, right? Because the basic income would go to children and adults with different rates. So oh, already, so even already, more. It'd no, be already, even more it's already expensive. Lower than that. It's already lower than that. No, but if it you, only you, went to 29 million working people, it would still be 580 billion no, let's pounds. Be, let's be clear what we're That'd talking about here. Let's, be, let's just be very clear what we're talking about here. This is a pilot of a full basic income, right? We're not talking about a national scheme. We're talking about a pilot of 30 people. We need to pilot a full basic income to understand those effects. If there was a national scheme, we'd probably start on a more modest basic income. There's but many, there's but many good studies, many well-costed should... studies about what that would look like right, but you need and, to and how it basically halve poverty. Isn't that something we should aim for? I would absolutely love Great. to Great, well, then poverty. we're agreed. No, we're agreed on the, on the concept of getting rid of poverty. Great. No one would want children. What's the most effective way of doing that? Are, the, the way that you are that? seeking to achieve that is the height of delusion. Profit. It's the height of delusion. It's dining out on other people's money. It's creating an absolute false economy. It will set this country up for fail. Is, you will, is, you is, will create an environment... Where, where's the evidence base for this? You will, the evidence base for this? Well, the evidence base for this is basic common sense. You no, have it's not, this it's scheme. not true. If you look at other you parts had... of Europe, the, the welfare systems are much more generous and universal than ours, but they're more successful economies. We have a low-wage, low-productive economy. How are you going to fund it well? Well, so, so the particular pilot, right. so the, the no, standard no, no, model no, for funding the, the, the pilot. I know how you're going to well, fund the 1.6 million pounds. Sometimes you're talking about the pilot sometimes. Sometimes you're talking about the national scheme. Right. So which Will, one are you talking about? Right, I'm very clear in what I'm saying to you. Mm. Sure. There's a 1.6 million pound fee that you're currently seeking someone else's money to yes, pay for your pilot. Yes, which is a pilot. standard model for right. funding these pilots in Full America stop. and elsewhere. I don't care about that. OK, well... Right, so what yeah, you're great. trying to achieve, you're trying to demonstrate that your model works. Mm -hmm. So then I'm asking you... Mm -hmm. If it works and you want to roll this out en masse to the nation, you want to pay, a, pay us all to stay at home on our backsides and do the square root of that's, nothing, that's not it. You're just how saying, are you're you just... going to fund it? <laughs> you're going off message here, Michelle, because that's not, exactly, what, that's not what we're right. saying. Don't die have, you, have you read, have you read Will, our other reports on I've a full basic income across Will, the country? Because this is not what we're talking about, I have a very about, simple question. Sure, please. How are you proposing to fund universal basic income mm -hmm. beyond your trial in this country? 
Like there's, there's, there's a number of ways of doing that. Well, give me them one. Here we go. Okay, so reforming wealth taxation. That's a massive. That's a massive issue in this Explore country. Explore that. Taxes. What does that mean? Yeah, wealth taxes. Yep. So, so you fund. You, you put up wealth taxes. Yeah, to, well, on the same level. You no, tax, no, no, tax no, no. Because this is deluded. Why is what this deluded? you do? This, this is a fairly standard model of how to how to raise wealth. Okay, no, okay. Well, I have to draw it to a close there because we have another guest coming up. But deluded. You will it, never. You're just shouting this. deluded. You're it's just shouting ridiculous. deluded. Okay, your your <laughs> argument is that he's deluded. Your argument is you're not. It can't, it can't, it can't <laughs> uh, I'm going to fund it. I just started shouting we'll to lose it. We'll have to see if the pilots go ahead. Quite where the £500 billion pounds to pay for it is going to come from is still a little bit of a mystery.